I'm Norman Navratsky from the Montreal International Anarchist Theatre Festival. And here we are once again, the 14th annual Montreal Anarchist International Anarchist Theatre Festival, the biggest anarchist theatre festival in the world, the only anarchist theatre festival in the world. 14 years now, we've been bringing in international talent from all around the world. Uh, we have no subsidies, no corporate sponsors. It's all paid out of our own pockets, DIY festival 100%. And we bring in anarchist acts uh, who are professional, who are world class, and we bring in local amateur student acts as well. We like the mix because we want to encourage especially local people in Montreal to support and to come up with their own creations in terms of anarchist theater and to be part of a tradition that goes back more than 100 years of anarchist theater around the world. The arts is one way to share our ideas, to share share the idea that the world can be a better place if we change the way we do things now. And so theater became a natural, a natural medium to work with for me many, many years ago. And the thought came to myself and Sandy, who's the co-founder of the festival, that why don't we just try putting on a festival and bring together other like-minded anarchists who appreciate theater. And that's how it started 14 years ago. This year, I'm so pleased I got to premiere a brand new play called Women's Strike 1919 to 2019, the Winnipeg General Strike. This is the 100th anniversary of the Winnipeg General Strike from 1919, when 35,000 workers shut the city down for six weeks, a historic event in Canadian history. My play was about the stories of nine working class immigrant poor uh, foreign quote unquote women who were involved in the strike one way or another. Courageous women, fearless women, women who took risks, who weren't afraid of being arrested or deported, who stood up for each other, supported each other, helped each other, protected men from being arrested from the cops, attacked, scabbed, strike-breaking people who were trying to break their strike, and were basically everyday heroines, but nobody ever talked about them because they were women and quote-unquote foreign women facing like all kinds of obstacles, not just the everyday sexism and racism, but also discrimination because of their accents, the way they look, the way they, you know, you name it. So I'm so pleased that the play we presented here last night got a standing ovation and was well received. Google Montreal International Anarchist Theatre Festival, either in English or French, and we have a Facebook page as well, and you will see photos, and now wonderful documentary footage, thanks to Jen and Victor. Thank you so much. Thank you.